Lit Gang, what's the deal, man? It's y'all favorite partner, Big Nina Boy. And we back at it with another reaction. And today, man, we got to welcome home that boy, Slime MK Slap. Shh. Don't tell nobody. Hey, listen, man. As y'all know, the, the rising comedian, rapper, YouTuber, vlogger, you know what I'm saying, eight months ago was arrested by ATF and Homeland Security, man. You understand me? And you know when them arrows get on you, they coming to hunt you down and you to pray. You know? No, they got my boy. They finally got my head. I, I been here lit, though. I been here lit. Oh, God. No. He ain't not been here lit, though, God. He's just not getting me here. Oh, God. No, they got my boy in case, bro. I'm basically posted on my store. Hey, my, my Instagram page. Sorry. You stop filming. Stop Damn, MK was looking at some time, man. You see what I'm saying? He was looking at a gang of time, man. They caught that boy with methamphetamine, fentanyl. They ain't playing with no fentanyl. You know what I'm saying? And automatic um, 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 weapons, you know what I'm saying? With switches on them. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and listen, though. They said they even have a they had a dick on that switch. You see what I'm saying? So you know with semi-automatics and all that, man, they, they they caught that boy with a million dollars in drugs. You see what I'm saying? In Alabama, down south. Oh, down the river. Yeah, that's you over there. You know, it was, you know, Ray Earl and Johnny Ray Jive took it. You know, them dudes that be looking at all that time out there in the south, man. It, it was nothing to play with, man. So recently, man, he just came home. He back. What up, man? You know what I'm saying? Hey, get on your, your ish, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we was worried about you on, uh, on these YouTube streets, bro. I ain't going to lie. Because, um, you know, um, you know, I like this little style for a young dude. You see what I'm saying? He's still a young dude. He's still a youngin'. And, and, you know, my thing was this. He waited to get famous, to start, like, hitting skits and hitting licks, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, He was arrested eight months ago on all those charges, and he was released. From I don't know what prison he was in or what jail he was in. I don't know how he did it, but yet to be determined. You know what I'm saying? We not we ain't putting no 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 ten on no twenty, man. We not doing that with him. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that with nobody. You know, but at the same time, man, the police raided that boy, man. It was a major drug bust. It was a major bust overall. You see what I'm saying? Um, looking at what's going on, man. Uh, you know. Y'all notice he was having like, you know, switches in his videos and the same guns he was using in his videos that was illegal firearms. You see what I'm saying? Um, he was tripping, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, MK, it looked like you was on that da -da -da -da. You know what I'm saying? That Christina Aguilera. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of future ahead of you. Um, I know his bounce back up gang gonna be strong. He didn't put, the way he put his content down, man, he put that content down like no other. He could always run back to YouTube and he's going to do successful. But anyway, let's check out some of the stuff that he was going through. Now, as y'all watching MK, man, you know, doing his comedy skits, this was one of the most funniest dudes that you on YouTube at that time. That dude had everything handed to him. That dude bought a house off of YouTube and that just goes to show you, it don't even matter when you got a couple hundred thousand subscribers. Sometimes it just ain't enough. You see what I'm saying? Now, his older brother was somebody that was in the streets that was really thugging. You see what I'm saying? Um, sometimes, you know, you could be guilty by association. I honestly believe that MK, I mean, Slime MK Slack was influenced by his bigger brother. You see what I'm saying? Um, his bigger brother couldn't get it out like how his little brother could on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So he had to use his brother to get himself in position. By him loving his big brother, you got to understand, MK Slack had money coming in every month. So, you know what I'm saying? The brother out there thugging, he got the fame. It's even, let me reach out to my little bro and see if he go help me. You know what I'm saying? If not, that's just going to create the jealousy. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what happened in the streets. It don't matter if you blood or not. If you don't feed a dog, it's going to turn on you. You see what I'm saying? So MK Slack knew he had to get down with his brother. You know what I'm saying? He knew he was going to have to you know what I'm saying, support his brother, you know what I'm saying, they from the slums, you know what I'm saying, so of course he like, man, this, this shit don't mean shit to me, you know what I'm saying, MK Slack came home, I'm believing either his brother took all that time for him, or, you know, because they wanted him out of everybody, you gotta realize, he's a big YouTuber, he's a big celebrity, everybody know who he is, he putting up big numbers, I had, he had numbers in the millions, you see what I'm saying, so, yeah, man, and then you notice he started doing the demon rap, with the Christian rap with God, you know what I'm saying? His personality is, 
is one of a kind, man. Some say he might be a schizo. He might be suffering from, um, you know, ADD, um, you know, ex you know, depression, anxiety. You know, when you have that many personality traits, man, it's kind of hard to find out which one is who. You never know what you go get with him, man. MK Slime was charged with trafficking. That's not nothing to play with, dude. There's dudes up in behind them bars looking at 30 years with that. You know what I'm saying? You get caught with fentanyl, methamphetamine, and narcotics. And you got caught with semi-automatic weapons and switches. You see what I'm saying? Them switches, they adding 10 years to each pistol or weapon that, that got the switch on it. But somehow, some way, man, Slime MK Slack is lucky because there's no way he could have made it up out of that. You know what I'm saying? He, he, man, that big bust. You know, you got to realize when ATF come up, come get you, that ain't nothing to play with. I remember when they came for me. I'm like, I ain't do nothing. Man, I was hiding for a long time, man. They, man, look, it ain't nothing to play with. But not even just ATF. You got to understand. Homeland Security, man, that's the crim of the crim. You see what I'm saying? And, and all, them, all them charges that he was facing. Remember, his bond was 300000 He got up out of that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I'm pretty sure they depleted all his funds. So whoever, you know, you got to look at it like this. Let's he, let's, look. When you got that type of big uh, um, um, YouTube channel, you can always, you know, sell a, a percentage of your channel because for sure money is going to come in. That eight months he was gone, his channel still was generating money. You see what I'm saying? But you got caught with a million dollars in drugs. You got caught with 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 with, 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 with automatic, semi-automatic weapons with switches on them and you do eight months to come home. Kind of looks suspect, but overall, man, you know, um, you never know. He might be, he might be on the on the right side of the spectrum. We're not trying to pull out nothing we don't know, man. We don't, we ain't putting no jackets on anybody. Hey, it's just good to see that young dude home, man. I hope he get his thing together. I hope he grind, and you know what I'm saying, get on this one too, because I know he finna do them skits. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, he could turn into a female. He could turn into a, a nerd. That nigga turn into a gangster. Nigga get the rapping. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got it all, man. So, you know, big shout out to Slack MK. Welcome home, man. You know, stay away from them suckers, man, and get back to your YouTube, man. Until then.